What's up guys, Sam and back with more DC Comics Multiverse Batman vs Superman figures. We're going to be taking a look at Superman. So this figure here is a re-release from the Comic Con 2 pack from 2015 that featured Batman vs Superman. The only difference is um I haven't really compared it with the other Bat with the other Superman, I'm sorry. But I'm pretty sure the paint applications might be slightly different, but the cape for sure is different because the Comic-Con one was cloth and this one is uh, like the rubber material. Now he does come with the handle for the Collect and Connect grapnel gun and part of the base. So you got the packaging right here, the box packaging, DC Multiverse, Batman vs Superman, there's an image of uh, Henry Cavill right there. Got read that side here, and then we got the side right here which is just um, Man of Steel. They come in the back, it tells you all the pieces you need and the numbers to collect and connect the uh, Batman's grapnel gun. At the bottom, all of the four figures from Series 1. Wonder Woman, I order from Amazon.com, so she should be arriving on Sunday. But it's so funny, the piece she comes with is just the freaking rod that holds this up. That's kind of lame. Uh, figures 5 through 8 will be coming soon. Probably going to come a little bit after the window. I have a feeling it's going to come after the movie. But uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see how cool this Superman figure is. Alright guys, so here we have a quick little 360 look at the Batman versus Superman Superman figure. Not a bad looking figure. Again, it's pretty much just a repaint from the Comic Con exclusive. But uh, here's a quick little 360 look. Let's take a closer look at the figure. So we're going to take a look at the accessories he comes with. So you can see right here, he comes with a piece of the um, grapnel gun. So he's got the handle right here. So you're going to see how large this is because if I put my hand around the actual handle, you can see how big it is. There's a trigger right there. So it comes with part of the base, which means the um, regular Batman came with this part of the base. So this clips on here. If I'm, am I doing this correct? Somewhere there. Let's do this. Imagine if I break this. No, it's supposed to clip on like this. Watch, I'm doing this wrong. But there's no real instructions on here. Okay, I see what I did wrong. So I, put, I did place it on here. Um, this handle right here that comes with the, the base part, there's a little peg right there. It pegs into this. So the base that comes with Batman has a hole in it. So that peg hole goes through that hole right there. And then you have this piece right here. So that's what I got so far for the Collect and Connect grapnel gun. Now we also have um, this piece right here that came with Batman as well. But I don't think this goes anywhere just yet. So we're going to need the other figures still. But this looks pretty cool. Is Superman. Again, if you guys are familiar, I'm going to bring them out right now with the Comic-Con version. This is it right here. And I'm trying to do a comparison to see spot any differences. Right off the bat, I can see the S is different and the gold and the emblem has a little bit of different paint applications. And looks like that's it. Yep. It looks like that's about it as far as the changes are in the figure because it looks like, I'm pretty sure it's, it's the same body mold and then plus the cape is different. So you can see the uh, Comic-Con one had the cloth cape, which I do like. And then this one here has the, uh, the rubbery material type cape, the plastic, you know, rubber, soft rubber material. Uh, the figure kind of looks like Henry Cavill a little bit, but uh, you got the sculpting on the hair looks pretty good. You got the head sculpt here. He's got, looks to be green eyes. And um, I mean, there's not much to say about the head sculpt. I kind of want to say they use the same mold as the as the last, as the Man of Steel movie masters. I don't know. It kind of feels like they did. I don't have those anymore. But um, I, if you guys still have yours, let me know in the comments below. Um, so you got the rubber cape right here. So you, you can see it goes over the shoulders there. And then it comes right back, back here. So it's a soft rubber material. And then you can see they sculpted the, um, the you know, the way the, the, the cape is like bending. And right over here we have the outfit, which is very nice. I love the blue that they used on this. And then you have all the texturing in the outfit because we, you know, as you guys all know, his new suit had this like texture to it. So this is all sculpted on. And then he's got the lines right here. Those, it's like a lighter blue. And then you got the belt going right here, little designs, same thing there. And he's also got them like in the forearm right here. And they kind of see it right here too. You got the lower legs, got the design going right down there as well. 
can make that out in the lower legs or actually in the whole leg. And then we come to the boots and then you got the little brighter red on the top right there on the trim. And you can even see it at the bottom of the shoe as well or the boot. And you lift the cape right here from behind and you can see some more of the designs right there in the upper back or in the whole back area. So overall, I think the figure looks good. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's the same thing as a Comic-Con exclusive. Now, you would need to pick this up anyways if you want to get the Collect and Connect piece. And this, I mean, if he came with the Wonder Woman piece, which looks like it's just the rod, which I don't know why they did that, then I would say, you know, if you have the Comic-Con version, then you can pass on this. But since he comes with part of the base and the handle, you have to pick this guy up. Um, in the way of his articulation, the arms do go in and out. Forward and back, a bend at the um, elbow. Upper arm has rotation. The hand can rotate as well. He's got the fists. Head can rotate. It can go up and down. See, he's got good range of motion. I wish the Batman ones did. Rotation at the waist, no ab crunch. Arms go in and out, forward and back. A bend at the knee, mid leg rotation. And the foot can go up and down. <clears throat> Excuse me, and he has peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And there you have it guys, there's my review. Um, what do I think about this figure? I think it's still a great piece. Even, I mean, like I said, if you guys didn't pick up the Comic-Con 2-pack, it's still an awesome piece. I love the colors on it and the cape, you know, the difference with the rubber cape, I think it looks great as well. Me, personally, I don't mind having both of them, but um, again, you need this figure in order to get the, the handle that you can see right there behind Superman. But still a great piece, guys. Let me know if you guys like this figure. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Comment down below, guys. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. We got more Batman and Superman stuff coming, guys.